So, in Helldivers 2, you have quite a few different weapons to choose from. As you make progress in the game and gather your Warbond medals, you'll be able to unlock more from the passes. And in this video, we're going to go through the weapons that I believe, from my personal experience and the time I've put into the game, the weapons I believe are the best for players to use. So there are four categories that I have unlocked at the moment. So we're going to go through each one, and obviously the Marksman Rifle, that's there on its own. But then I'll tell you my absolute favorite to use. So out of the assault rifles, I have the standard liberator and the concussive one. Now these are both really, really good weapons, but I'm going to say the concussive is the better of the two because you have the concussive rounds. And as you have big swarms of bugs coming towards you, those rounds are going to stagger the enemy. So it buys you a little bit of time to be able to deal all the damage you need and kill the bugs before they get close to you. And obviously it's classed as explosive. It says that it deals less damage, but if you have a look at the damage stats, they are exactly the same. So I think this is actually a little bit more powerful. This concussive is a very, very good, fun weapon to use. And then we do have the R63 Diligence, which we'll leave until the end. In the submachine guns, the SMG37 Defender is a really, really good gun to use. And if you look at the fire rate, it's got 520 compared to the MP98 Knight, which has 1380. So it's really, really slow with its rate of fire, but it's got barely any recoil, the capacity is decent, and the damage is actually really, really good on this SMG. And then in terms of the two shotguns that I have, the SG8 Punisher and the SG225 Breaker, I personally prefer the Breaker because it's a fully automatic shotgun. I don't like firing a couple of shots and then reloading or pumping the gun or anything like that. I like being able to plow rounds into enemies and get the job done. And not only that, because of it being fully automatic, this is a really, really good gun. As it states, it's excellent for uh, controlling crowds. But obviously, it's only got a 13 capacity, so it does require really frequent reloading. And you see the difference in the fire rate. It's 80 for the Punisher, and it's 300 for the Breaker. So you do go through rounds really, really quick. So out of the SMG shotgun and the assault rifle, those are my favorites of the bunch. But I'm actually going to say that my favorite overall, the absolute best weapon, the one I prefer using over any, is actually the R63 Diligence. And that's because, granted, it's only got 20 capacity, the recoil is 35, so it's quite high, and the fire rate is 350. But this is semi-auto, so you can actually spam your trigger. You can spam fire this weapon. And you'll see that the damage stat is 112. Is light armor penetrating the exact same as the AR-23 Liberator? But you're going to get accurate shots. You're going to be able to spam fire it. It's a semi-auto marksman rifle. And I've had so, so much fun using this weapon. You can even use it for some of the tougher bugs that you'll come across. And then in terms of secondaries, out of the P2 Peacemaker and the P19 Redeemer, the Redeemer is fantastic. I've managed to take down some like quite heavily armored bugs with this weapon, which is surprising because there's only light armor penetrating. But it is like it does say that it's got efficient crowd control, which it really does. It's just such a good weapon to use. It's fully automatic. You'll see it's got a really high fire rate. It's got barely any recoil. The capacity is okay. The damage is very, very good. And when it comes to some of the medium bugs, they are absolutely no trouble to deal with when you are using the P19 Redeemer. So out of the weapons that I have available at the moment, obviously I've still got a lot more to unlock. But out of the ones I do have at the moment, my recommendations are the Concussive Liberator, the Diligence, the SMG Defender, the Shotgun Breaker and then the P-19 Redeemer, but my absolute favorite is the Diligence Marksman Rifle. And then I'm actually going to say that the AR-23C Liberator Concussive is my second favorite. But obviously, some of it comes down to personal preference with exactly what you're going to enjoy. And I think it's purely because it's a Marksman Rifle, it's not a full-blown like bolt-action sniper rifle, because you can spam fire it and it's dealing high damage, it's penetrating armor. I think that's what makes it really, really fun. But not only that, it's powerful, and it comes with, or at least the way I've got the game set up, it comes with eight mags, so you can reload the weapon eight times, meaning you have a very good amount of ammo as well. So that's my recommendation for the best weapons in Helldivers 2, and what we're going to do is leave that video there. Let me know your thoughts and stuff about the best weapons in this game in the comments, and I will see you guys in the next one. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope it helped you out. Thank you for watching.